It was a battle to the finish as the Indiana Fever faced off against the Phoenix Mercury Wednesday night here at Bankers Life Fieldhouse. Both teams looking to get their first win of the season. The Fever were down by five heading into the fourth, but came out explosive offensively and harnessed down on defense in the final quarter. They were up by two with just nine seconds left, and Diana Tarazzi missed a layup and fouled Marissa Coleman, who then made both free throws, securing the win for the Fever 97 to 93. Everything that we were doing was going to be dictated on, on how disciplined we were on the defensive end. We had to defend without fouling, we had to be aggressive, we had to be active. And if we could do that, we could get some turnovers and, and we, can, we could make a run in transition, which is exactly what we wanted to do. We started slowing it down a little bit more when they started getting scores and when they started shooting free throws. And so we wanted to, to have a lot of energy on the defensive end and be disciplined. And I felt like our team really responded. And, and you know, at gut check time, we were able to execute, whether that be on offense or defense. Yes, we still made some bonehead plays, um, but we played through them. A Fever franchise record, seven players scored in double figures tonight. And Erica Wheeler, Shanice Johnson, and Devereaux Peters scored 16 points apiece to lead the team. Phoenix was led by Diana Tarazzi, who had an impressive 32 points tonight. Yeah, um, we're trying to pick off of what we did last year. Um, you know, we had a great, great bench last year. We, we, we have great up-tempo. Um, we move the ball well. Um, and, you know, we try to play unselfish offensively. And the result is seven players in double figures. And, you know, it won't be that every night. But the important thing is that we're, that we're moving the ball and that we're playing together. Um, we felt like in the first game um, we tried to do a lot of one-on-one -on -one and we didn't share the ball as much. Um, and I think we talked about it, we watched the film, and then – we all made an extra effort to change that. Um, this is a very unselfish team. We all know we can score and we all know what we can do. And I thought today we really put ourselves, each other, in great situations um, to do well. Yeah, I mean, there was, uh, you know, stretches where we looked really good offensively, where we were trying to do um, certain things and we got to them. Um, and with a team that's so aggressive like they are, um, they make you work for every shot, for every pass. and. You know, the times where we absorbed that pressure, we got really good shots and good looks for everyone. And when we didn't, um, you know, uh, they were going another way with it. So, um, you know, there's a lot of things we got to get better at. Next up, the Fever hosts the Atlanta Dream this Friday right here at Bankers Life Fieldhouse at 7. Reporting for FeverBasketball.com, I'm Lauren Gray.